Every night before they were sent to bed, her father took his children out on the front bridge to say goodnight to the stars. She knew the North Star and the Big Dipper, but that bottomless sea of constellations was mostly nameless, an intimate, anonymous presence that bristled against the bare skin of her arms. The nights were that black and that quiet, she could almost hear the stars ringing over the harbor and its frail necklace of houses, over the looming hills. This was her world, feral and precarious and mysteriously complete, sufficient unto itself. It never occurred to her to want anything other. <laughs> 